Hey Olivia, it's Dr. Scott. I have some feedback for you on your SA2 draft. I apologize, it's taken me a while to get that feedback to you. Um, but just as a reminder, there are four criteria that I'm looking at for this assignment. The first is your thesis statement, uh, looking at whether or not the thesis statement is arguable, whether it's focused, whether it's interesting. I'm also taking a look at your ability to support that thesis statement with details from the murals and also with uh, sources, with uh, a couple quotes that have come from either the Scioto Historical website or the documentary that we watched as a class. The third criteria is your um, ability to organize, uh, keep your keep similar ideas together, to use transitions between ideas, but most importantly, I think, to place ideas in a way that makes some sense. Like there's a reason why you're beginning with one paragraph and then moving on to another. And you make that reason evident to your reader. It makes it clear to your reader why you're going from one idea to another. The fourth criteria is your ability to integrate sources. And um, so you're avoiding Stedman's annoyances, you're doing that quote sandwich thing that I've talked about in class. Those are the issues that I'm looking at uh, for this assignment. So what I've done is I've read your essay through a couple times and I've included some feedback on the right. These are just quick notes to myself. I'll move this over here, I'll actually move this in the frame so you can see it. That's what I did. These are just quick notes to myself and I'm gonna go through and kind of explain my feedback. And if you have questions, um, Maybe pause this video, write down a question, and then uh, make an appointment to chat with me. I'd be happy to discuss uh, your essay and um, how you can revise it. Okay, um, so be in the beginning, the introduction does a nice job of kind of discussing the overall purpose of the murals and how they came to be. I think um, this information is coming from somewhere. I don't think that this is information you readily had available. So I think you need to tell us where this, this came from. What was this uh, from Scioto Historical? Was it from the um, the documentary that we watched? Part of integrating sources is letting us know where they came from. And that needs to happen here in the introduction. I think, for me, the thesis statement was, uh, it's kind of a combination of this sentence and this sentence. Ideally, they should be there should be one uh, sentence that clearly and concisely summarizes what your argument's going to be. So I think there's some revising to do here to, to get these, um, to improve that thesis statement. The one issue that I was interested in, um, I'm not sure what you mean by, I wasn't sure what you meant by connotation. And I read those paragraphs through a couple times, and they're really interesting. And um, I'm wondering I'm wondering if uh, the symbolism of the murals is really, because you, you, you explain connotation as being a feeling, and I don't know if that's that's really what it is, but it, you use the word symbolism later in the in the essay, and I think the symbolism of the murals is pretty powerful. The way you explain it, uh, I'm I'm sold on it. I, I think initially I wasn't too sure where that was going to go, but I've read those paragraphs a couple times, and I think it's a pretty solid idea. But I'm I just don't know if connotation is the thing that you're or the idea that you're really trying to get at there. So some revision needs to be, needs to happen with those. Uh, those two sentences to get them into a single uh, focused unified thesis statement. I have a thing about the word thing. A thing about the word thing. I just said that. Um, but the, the word thing is one of the least descriptive words in the English language and it's fine for conversational speech but as far as like your writing there's always a more effective alternative and also with an assignment where I'm asking you to describe and to use specific language to support your argument using the word thing isn't, isn't very helpful. Um, these two paragraphs, I'm not sure, um, I don't know how to say this, they don't work. They, they're summarizing the murals. And there's great detail in them, but I think that detail needs to get into paragraphs when you're at, where you're actually trying to analyze. Um, if there's a focus to this paragraph, like if there's something you're trying to say about the Carter mural, um, you know what? Yeah, I just, I don't see a connection to the argument in here. I just see a lot of description of one particular mural. The description, uh, I'm assessing your ability to use description to support your argument, not just your ability to describe. So this paragraph and the next one, they've got some awesome details in there. They really do. So they, you don't cut them all together, but you put maybe put them in another document and you copy and paste into your essay uh, parts that are particularly useful to 
to either the discussion about sunset, symbolism, the scenery. Um, you copy stuff in here and then you get it into those paragraphs where you're actually trying to analyze that aspect of the two murals. So these murals here, I'm not, or I'm sorry, these paragraphs here, I wasn't sure what they were trying to do, uh, but they didn't feel like they were supporting the paper's overall argument. So, um, and I think in your body paragraphs, you need to get both murals in there. You need to be talking about both murals at the same time because the thesis statement should be an argument about what both murals are trying to do and how they're trying to do that. Um, and you picked excellent ideas to write about. Sunset, that symbolism idea or connotation as you're calling it, um, the scenery, I think that those are all really, those all definitely work. But as far as like um, the body paragraphs here, I'm not seeing necessarily a discussion about how these details are helping to get across that argument that you have about scenery and symbolism and colors are trying to show that this is a town that is not completely satisfied with where they're at and they still have room to improve. Like, they're proud of where they're at, but they're not necessarily satisfied where they're at. I think that's a really interesting argument. I just don't see these murals using details to support that argument. So that needs to change in the revision. When we get into the paragraphs we're actually analyzing, I see a lot of promise here. Again, the paragraphs need to come together. There should be discussion about your details after you use some details. So there's kind of, um, you have, you do this thing in this paragraph and you replicate that, this pattern in a several, in several paragraphs, but you'll have like detail, detail, detail. And at the very end, uh, this is what it shows. And then same thing here, detail, detail, detail. This is what it shows. There should be discussion throughout your details. Like you'll include a detail, then you discuss it and say, you know what, this is how, this is how color is trying to get across that this idea that I have about about the two murals. I think um, the aspects idea that I wasn't exactly sure what you mean by that. Um, and I'm wondering if that's if that's symbolism or uh, if that's part of the symbolism paragraph. This paragraph, it has, I'm not sure really what what you're kind of getting at there. I do think it, it kind of works with other issues that you bring up in the paragraph, but it um, I wasn't sure what that paragraph was doing. I do think that this is a really interesting idea. Um, the uh, connotations, well, the connotation is suspenseful. I do know what is going to happen in the rest of the mural and how it's going to turn out. It feels anxious. And you kind of, I think you later on in that paragraph, you connect it to the town as a whole. Like they're still trying to figure out what that masterpiece is. Um, actually, you don't make that connection to the town here. Um, but I think that that's one for you to make. Like if it's saying something about the town, you could say, you know, the town, a lot like this, like the, the Holbert Carter mural um, is kind of a work in progress. It's funky, it's weird, but it's something to be proud of nonetheless. I, I think that that argument is there for you to make. And that seems to be what the overall argument of the paper is. So right now with, with your revision, I'll just do a quick to-do list. Um, there's um, some revision to thesis statement. You need to clarify what that thesis statement, what the overall argument of the paper is need to connect paragraphs to that thesis statement. You need to discuss your details and explain how they relate to paragraphs purpose slash how they support the thesis statement. And then you need to cut cut summary of the murals. Um, and there might be parts of that summary where you're like, you, you know what, I was really trying to trying to do this and try to analyze it. Um, there's part of that that was anal analysis. Um, I think that's fine, but it needs to, the, the paragraphs need to be focused on your analysis of the murals, like your argument about the murals, not just the murals themselves. That's an important distinction. And if that's fuzzy, let me know. I'd be happy to chat with you about that. So this is really your to-do list. And this doesn't kind of get into the organization idea. Um, like why you've structured paragraphs in the way that they have. We haven't really talked about that. These four things need to happen first before this happens. So
So if you want to chat with me about these ideas and then come back and chat with me again about organization, I'd be happy to speak with you. Your revisions due uh, Monday the 12th, but if you need a little bit more time than that, I'd be happy to, to give that time to you. So um, that's my feedback. If you got questions, let me know. I'll talk to you soon.